When I came to know Christ, I made a vow to the Lord. From henceforth, everything that I do, say, and live will be about him, for him, and through him. He gave me another chance. And me not showing him my gratitude every chance I get is disloyal. Let go! Say, hold up, wait a minute. Hey, you thought I was finished? Yeah. He told me to be humble, but ain't nothing about this timid. Yeah. Riding through the HR right outside the city limits. Uh -huh. Tell you about this word and clean you up. Who needs a clinic? Whoop. I can see the heavens like a drop. Like a drop. Heads bobbing in the crowd like a rock. Like a rock. Prescribe you to my father, he's a doc. If you buy it, we can kick it like it's. Hey, what's happening? This is GS. Um, for those who don't know who I am, um, and, and I just wanted to make a quick, you know, video for the, the mixtape. Warner Before Destruction Volume 5 is finally here. Um, you know, it, it's been a blessing trying to put that project together. You know, um, um, I thought that if I made a video this time around just telling people the process that went into it, I think when they listen to the music, they'll get a completely different appreciation for it. Um, if you do listen to any of my music, uh, I'm not sure if you know, but I use a lot of double entendres. Uh, that means that one word means multiple things, you know what I'm saying? And so uh, a lot of my music has uh, a lot of different meanings. Um, one word can mean a couple of different things, you know. Uh, being from the hood, uh, you know, we were, <laughs> we were kind of taught to be simple, simple as possible, especially coming from Houston where, you know, uh, we're not widely known for, for its, you know, lyricists, although we do have them here. I kind of wanted to bring something new to the table. And so with this project, man, um, I, I, you know, lyric, lyrically, I kind of wanted to, to, to step it up a bit. And so um, I most definitely did that. And I think that, um, you know, uh, you'll be able to hear it and appreciate the create your creativity that I put into the project. Uh, also, um, what I want to also tell y'all about was the process going into it. You know, uh, for a lot of us Christian rappers, uh, a lot of us go through that moment where we don't want to actually rap no more. But let's just keep it real. You know, we we all we all hit that wall. Where we just like yo, we done with it. And it's not because of lack of success or what we consider success to be. Um, it's more so. Um, you just kind of lose a passion for it because you you know when you get into it you didn't really realize that it was what it is. Um, you know when I got into this Christian rap, um, I, I I thought it was something completely different. Um, you know I was I was ministering before I started doing music, so um, you know I just thought that you know music was supposed to mirror your your ministry, <laughs> which it don't. And so um, you know during the summer I just kind of got tired. I was like yo. Hey God, listen, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to rap no more. I don't want to, uh, I, I just kind of want to minister, man. You know, I have a heart of ministry. And, uh, you know, talking to my brother, Mouthpiece, man, you know, I, I was chopping up with him. And, you know, you know, God shared with us that there's a difference between a minister that raps and a rapper that ministers. And, um, you know, you know, not to say that one is better than the other. It's just that uh, they're obligated to different things. Uh, you know, different stuff mean more to them. You know, whereas with me, I like to touch the people. You know, when I when I release projects and people see, you know, 700, 800, 900, 1,000 downloads online, they be like, yo, he's supposed to get way more downloads than that or 3,000 downloads or whatever. It don't bother me at all. I praise God for the attention I get online. But, um, you know, when I'm able to go and do shows, you know, and, and, and um, I can actually touch the people, you know, um, I generate a lot of interest in, in person. You know, and so when I'm out passing out CDs, giving little kids high fives and taking pictures with, you know, with kids in the hood and, you know, talking to, to thugs and gangsters and drug dealers and gangbangers, man, it's a blessing because I come from it and, and I see them as my brothers, you know what I'm saying? And like, I'm not, you know, uh, I left the tough guy thing alone when I came to Christ. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere near it. I just speak with a passion and an honesty in my music. And, um, you know, during the summer when I was talking to God, I was like, yo, I'm ready to get, I'm ready to, you know, be done with this music. I was, uh, I, I fast, you know, I fast every time I do a project because I want people to hear my heart, not just my ability or, 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 you know, how I can put words together. I really want people to hear and feel the relationship that I got with God personally. So I was fasting and um, God shared with me, <laughs> he wasn't too pleased with me, man. Um, he shared that he wasn't too pleased with, you know, with, with, with me not wanting to do this music anymore because, you know, 
the whole reason why I came up with the line, I don't rap, I tell the truth, it just happened to rhyme, uh, is because I never wanted to call myself a rapper. <laughs> like, I was like, yo, man, if these dudes who I'm listening to call themselves rappers, and, and, and I'm doing this too, but my music completely different than theirs, I felt, I was like, I don't want to be a part of that. Like, I don't want to be associated with none of that stuff. And if anybody know me personally, like, I don't really rock with many people, you know? I got a huge family. You know, I mean, a lot of cousins, a lot of, you know, people that consider my brothers, you know, and it's a pretty close, you know, close, tight circle. And so, uh, you know, God began to show me that he wasn't too pleased with me, uh, not accepting my gift that he gave me. That um, the scripture says that the gift was given to you according to the amount of grace that God has given you. And so um, I kind of took it to heart. I realized that, you know, I needed to show God um, how much I appreciate it. You know, especially when I came into this, I, I made a vow to the Lord that I would. And, um, you know, and, and that's why this project is a lot different than anything you have heard from me. Lyrically, it's a lot better. Creatively, it's a lot better. Because it wasn't that I couldn't do it. It was that I knew the music people wanted to hear from me, and I created that music. And that's why on this project, it's called No Compromise. Because from here on out, I'm not compromising anything else. I'm not compromising my music. I'm not compromising the way I create music, um, the things that I talk about, my passion for it. And, you know, we have a lot of Christian artists that, you know, we talk about things that's happening outside the church, but not many people are touching on the things that actually happen in the church. You know what I mean? And being a, a, a minister of the gospel and also a Christian rapper, I see a lot of things that's not too cool. And so, um, biblically, man, I, I, you know, I use scripture to back up, you know, all of my, uh, the things that I bring up. And so, um, you know, I would love to have, you know, conversation with, you know, with, with people about some of their, um, their beliefs or, or how they believe. You know, we we're supposed to portray or, or carry out the, the the gift that God has given us, and um, I would just love to hear it sometimes. I mean, I've talked to some some pretty you know known Christian rap artists, and um, I didn't agree with them. You know what I'm saying? When the Bible comes out, we you know we have a tendency to stick to our opinions. So this project, man, it was just basically like, yo, I read the same Bible you read. I got the same Holy Spirit you got. You know what I mean? And so uh, my obligation is to protect people. Because I was never protected, you know what I mean. Um, when I listened to a lot of Christian rap, it didn't really do anything to me. It, it, you know, it sounded good, um, but it didn't really convict me of anything. And so, now that the project is out, you know, people are like, "Yo, it's a dope project." You know, it's okay. Um, but the thing that I love the most is that I'm getting more messages that saying, "Hey, man, you know, that mixtape um, it's brought me and my family closer. It's made me challenge." Uh, it challenged my faith, you know what I mean? It's it's um it's made me want to read the Bible more. <laughs> it made me want to get closer to God because um I wanted people to hear my passion through the lyrics and not just you know they feel like I was just making music that, that you know had nice beats behind it or whatever the case may be. So from here on out, y'all can expect that from me, man. You know uh, I represent I'm doing Jesus, and we really do this. You know what I mean? Like we in the streets. You know people say we in the streets, we in the streets. You know, listen, man, we really out here in the streets, man. You know. I made it, you know, my job to go myself be on the front line uh, in front of well-known drug dealers, you know what I mean, um, and, and, and people who, you know, the church has even, you know, kind of overlooked. I, I go and I talk to these people on a regular basis, and I got a, you know, um, a real good relationship with them. And one thing I've learned is before you can get somebody into the kingdom, you have to be able to show them that you love them, you know. Only thing people want really is hope. They want to know that it, that it does exist. And so for me, I want them to know that, you know, when um, when you when you hear about I'm doing Jesus or you hear about GS, you know, I want you to know that uh, that I do love you. You know what I'm saying? And that um, and and I'm not ashamed to say it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I'm not ashamed to say it. And 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 I will show you that love on a consistent basis because it doesn't come from how I feel about you. It comes from the person who gave it to me, which is Jesus Christ. And so. You know, I'm, I'm not compromising any of my music um, for anything. You know, I, I've gotten, you know, calls made and, and calls come in and things of that nature, man. Um, you know, concerning, you know, signing deals and things of that nature. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not excited about it at all because ultimately I just want to preach this gospel. You want to give me a gospel preaching deal, we can rock with it. But, um, you know, but yeah, so, so on this mixtape, no compromise. I just kind of want to tell y'all, you know, 
the idea that came, you know, behind it and, and how it how it developed and everything and how God kinda, you know, he wasn't too pleased with me and how um, I changed my heart and I changed my mind about a lot of the things that I um, I thought and so, you know, here you have it. No compromise, 17 tracks. I got features from uh, I'm Doing Jesus, Artist Speeds, um, also Jodo. You know, I went and got D Black uh, on it. Um, I got Dylan Chase on the project. I went and got Tiana on the project. I got D Thomas on the project. Uh, and then also, I got my brother Mouthpiece. You know what I'm saying? You know, he will probably be on every project we do. That's family. And the big homie, Dre Murray. He came through and rock with me on this project. So I really appreciate, you know, the opportunity to be able to do this music for the Lord, um, to give my gift back to the Lord. And uh, I ain't comfortable.